Hi, I'm Katie Embry with the National Head Start Association, and I was hoping that you could talk about parent involvement in pre-K education. And I was just wondering if you saw programs with differing levels of parent involvement and what impact that had on the children. Well, go back to Perry Preschool. You know, one of the, in that sort of mix of, of good things that Perry did, you had teachers, a teacher spending four hours a week with parents, coaching parents and being allies and educators in that process. You look at the Chicago Child Parent Centers, and I was there for the first parent meeting. It was amazing. First of all, how many parents turned up? And then, you know, a parent asks, you know, is it okay if we come more than a couple of times a term? You're welcome all the time. We, we're really happy to have you, you know, and we were offering these activities for you. The parents are kids, first, second, and third, and fourth educators. They're the crucial part of the story. You know, they're the folks, you know, who, when, the, when a child is 45 minutes old, an infant is 45 minutes old, is capable of tracking motions of an individual. When an infant, toddler, an infant is six months old, it's perfect, it can understand, can distinguish every tonal language in the world. And who's around to nurture and develop that kind of crucial curiosity? Parents. So if you, it's tough these, it's hugely tough these days. Because from Perry Preschool, it's Perry Preschool, moms were home. You know, in some way, shape, or form, they were home. Now they're working. Now the average middle class mom is back at work before her child is six months old. It's tough to do. But it's important to try figuring out ways that get moms and dads um, and engaged in the educating of their kids. And it's wonderful when it can happen in the school, and it's important that it happen in the, in the home, but it's, a, it's an essential part of what, of what matters.